Hi there, this is Todd Schnick. And I'm Stephanie Lloyd. Welcome to round 17 of He Said. She Said. We are coming to you live from Yever in Virginia Highlands in Atlanta, Georgia. Stephanie, how are you? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? The last time I did one of these, I think, was uh, July. 1998. July of 2010. Or, or July of 2010. Yes. <coughs> See, Are you okay? I'm in great shape. You're having still? a wonderful time. The um, how was the burger? The burger was outstanding. Um, you know, we're, we're, let's talk about why are we here today? We're out here. We are at the yeah, burger. Oh, I just got a good visual. The you and I are both doing the Tim Ferriss Four Hour Body Slow Carb Diet. Correct. And if you're familiar with that diet at all, you know that uh, you follow the rules. Six days a week, but you get one cheat day. And today is our weekly cheat day. Our weekly cheat day. And so we are, of course, celebrating that. Yeah, burger. Yeah, burger. So, but you know. Then, explain, should we explain real briefly what the, the diet is? No, we don't have time for that. Okay. But the. So if you're not sure, look up for yeah, our body. We'll, we'll include some links to the diet in the, in the article. Um, but the question I had for you today, in terms of the context of us being here on our cheat day, is, is, is and my question, how is America so damn fat? Remember this, I think obesity is at epidemic proportions. What is your theory as to why Americans are just, are just so heavy and so fat this day? I think in a nutshell, my theory is, is processed foods. Um, I, I think there is... I think Americans eat crap. That's my theory. Americans eat crap? Yes. Food? Processed foods? They literally eat... What does that mean? Huh? Foods that are not even food. Like, if you walk through the aisles of your grocery store, and you pick up the boxes and the cans and the frozen meals and all that, and you read, how many of the ingredients can you even pronounce? My rule of thumb for allowing a food into my home is that I need to not only be able to pronounce it, a fifth grader needs to be able to pronounce it, but I need to understand what it actually is in terms of food. If it's a chemical, it's not coming in my house. So I focus on eating whole foods like meat and fish and eggs and vegetables and legumes, like is on the slow carb diet. So no more of this processed crap, no more enriched flour, which I can't have anyway, being gluten free, but um, no more high fructose corn syrup. I told you about a study I read recently that, that it makes mice 30% fatter than the mice given everything else um, equal. That's why American fat. Eat anything that, that are fed to mice. Thank you. No high fructose corn syrup for you. No high fructose corn syrup. So your theory is processed food. Yes. I, see, well, it's the grab and go thing. See, my it's theory the is easy. that my theory is that people are just damn lazy. We, it's our culture. It's just fast food culture. I mean, so, like, heck, even on the way over here, there there was a, a McDonald's, and the line for the drive-thru went into the damn road. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just this lazy. I think you know. Look. I hate to give you credit for credit's too, but I think you're right. I think the processed food thing is the issue. The problem is I think we're too damn lazy to do anything about it, to understand it, to make a, 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 a bold decision to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to understand this, but these words, these long words that you're talking about that, that we can't pronounce, people don't care. So, well, they don't, they're just too damn lazy. And, you know, let's go to the microwave and let's, let's microwave food. Let's open up a can and pour it in a bowl and microwave it. It's not really eating, you know? I think the bottom line is what part of put down the fork and get off the couch do you not understand? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of we could do. I'm sure we could discuss for a lot of time about how processed food became so mainstream. But the fact is, it's mainstream and it's there, it's prevalent. And I think people are too damn lazy to understand it and to do something about it. So that's my theory. And yours is science, mine's just, just lazy people. I think that about sums it up. I think it does. So, I'm not sure that we really argued on this one. I think we did. <laughs> and I'm sure that I won again, but... I have a fan though, remember.
member. You do a fan. You have that over Thank you I at know. Kelly Lynn. Oh yeah, so you've been doing a cider. So you, okay, I know there's money involved now. <laughs> Anyhow, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Don't too long. We'll, we promise we'll yeah, be I back. I hope that I'll see you again before eight months is over. Yeah, I, yeah, I hope so too. So anyway, good to see you. Uh, any thoughts on this subject, uh, please uh, add to the comments below. See ya. We'll see you next time. Bye.